I don't really have a joke for this one because this one gets a little bit more serious. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the B-Sides edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and on the B-Sides, we cover the new and trending things in the same format as your everyday nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. One of my favorite creators on YouTube is Anna Akana. Usually she puts out these creative short form videos to talk about self-improvement, using her life and experiences as a way to give advice to others. Other times, Anna is a poet, even featuring a couple of poems on her channel with full length animations. Even more so, she's an actress, playing in multiple web series, including one of my favorite YouTube Red series, Single by 30, and even showing up in blockbusters like Ant-Man. She's made music, wrote her own book, and even starred and produced in her very own show, Youth and Consequences, making her one of the most creative and prolific people on YouTube. And now, as of this week, she can add writer and director of stop motion animation to her resume. Dolor is a 5 minute and 10 second stop motion animated short film that tells the story of Anna's sister and her suicide. Like I said, this is a pretty intense subject. But it's not just about the action of suicide. There's definitely a deeper meaning here. The word dolor is Spanish for pain or grief. And within this short film, Anna does such a fantastic job of portraying the five stages of grief. The short starts with her sister being led by a personified death into an early grave, where Anna follows her into one of the four elements, Earth. Here, she's being stopped by the Earth which showcases the first stage of grief, denial. This brings her into a vast ocean, which showcases the second element, water, and kind of portrays isolation, which goes with the first stage of grief. We see an ill that appears pretty angry, moving into the second stage of grief, anger. And this leads Anna to a place full of fire. So we have the different elements being used as the backdrop for the five stages of grief. It's at this point that Anna falls through the last element, air, where she continues to follow her sister through a black hole. This black hole acting as the bargaining stage in grief. I take it as once something goes through a black hole, you can't exactly get it back. And unfortunately, no matter how much you ask or bargain with it, it's not going to budge. Finally, we're brought to the funeral where everyone is in all black, which, you know, this is depression. Obviously, we see Anna cry, and it's sad, like there's just no other words for it. But at the end, we do see a flower blossom, and this is the last stage of grief, acceptance. While there are a lot of media out there that tackles suicide as its main topic, I don't think I've ever seen something like Dolor. It's tragic, but it's also beautiful and captivating. The details and the backgrounds and characters here are quite amazing. I watched the short a few times over and it's still extremely impressive. It's very clear that a lot of money, time, and effort went into this project and it definitely paid off. That's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for whatever reason you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. Go watch Dolore if you haven't already. I'd love to see more things like this on YouTube. The amount of talent on YouTube is absolutely incredible, but we have got to start supporting more projects like this in order to get more projects like this. The fact that this doesn't already have a million views makes no sense to me. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.